Today, I'm going to show you how to build an AI workflow that can analyze financial trends, company sentiment, and deliver insights, all automatically and on a laptop computer. We'll set up three specialized AI agents, one for finding and analyzing news sentiment, one for gathering financial data, and another to identify actionable market insights from both sources of data. If you aren't familiar with AI agents, they are autonomous programs designed to perform specific tasks with minimal human intervention. They operate independently, guided by predefined objectives and rules, and often adapt their behavior based on the input or environment until their task is completed. We're going to create multiple AI agents in Python using the open source PhiData library, as well as GPT-4.0 through the OpenAI API. Start by creating an OpenAI API account, if you don't already have one, and add a few dollars to your credits. You really only need to put in a dollar or two if you're just getting started. Next, set up an API key through the API key tab on the dashboard. Now open up a new terminal or command prompt window and install the following libraries into a Python environment. PhiData, OpenAI, YFinance, and Google Search Python. With these now installed, we can move to a Jupyter Notebook and import the relevant libraries and functions that we'll be using. At this point, we will also import the OS module environ function to set our OpenAI API key. We can now start creating agents with the agent function from Phi data. For this first agent, I'll give it a name of sentiment agent and assign it a role, which I'll define as search and interpret news articles. I'll then set the model argument to GPT-4.0. A side note here is that you don't have to use GPT-4.0. You could alternatively use other OpenAI-supported LLM models, Anthropic models, or even open source models locally on your own computer through OLAMA. The video description below links to models supported by Phi Data. Next, we can equip our agent with tools using the tools argument. I'm going to let this agent search the web by adding the Google search tool. Finally, the instructions argument takes a list of directives for this agent to follow. Here, I've instructed the sentiment agent to find and analyze sentiment of news articles and have given guidelines for how to score sentiment based on a 1 to 10 scale. There are two more arguments here, show tool calls and markdown. These are just process and output arguments that are more or less useful for different use cases. So we've created our first agent. In the code below, I add two additional agents. First a finance agent that pulls financial data using Y finance tools, which I place into the tools argument. I've given this agent instructions to fetch stocks and other financial data, as well as to focus on trends and present its findings as tables. Second, an analyst agent that does not use any specific tools, but oversees the work of the sentiment and finance agents and synthesizes the sentiment and stock trend data into a final one through 10 sentiment score. Okay, so we have our three agents. The next step is to build an agent team, which we can do by using the agent function and adding a list of our three agents to the team argument. We can further give instructions to the team as a whole, which I do here. At this point, we can give a final overarching prompt to our agent team with the print response function that we'll add to the agent team object. I've used this as an opportunity to tell the agent team the time period that I want it to examine, as well as the specific stocks to analyze. I have also reiterated the instructions, but this is probably prompt overkill. And finally, before we run the multi-agent analysis, I set the stream argument to true to ensure that it outputs to the Jupyter notebook. Now we can run this cell and wait for the results, which might take some time depending on your computer's hardware specs and the model that you used. The output includes a message box, which displays the final prompt we inputted. It then displays a response box, which shows how the agent team delegated tasks to individual agents, as well as the actual LLM's response to the prompt. We can see that it has given us a report with a final sentiment score and the reasoning behind the score for the two stocks we requested information on. So this is just one use case for using multi-agent teams. In terms of stock market analysis, you could scale this to be more comprehensive and do other forms of company research. I plan on making more videos about how to leverage recent advances in AI for quant finance and other applications. So if you found this video useful, make sure to like, 
comment, and subscribe to the Deep Charts channel.